What's good, people? Said Mac here. Music Tech Works. Uh, been away for a few days, and mainly, you know, because I've been actually working, um, working on projects and recording, and I uh, try to squeeze uh, YouTube in when I can. It's actually pretty fun, and I like to come in, so I like engaging with the community. So I'll be uh, doing this more often, and we're um, over 500 subscribers. Remember what I said when we reach a thousand. Uh, we have a special giveaway and maybe one of these i don't know we'll see but uh today akai released the mpc one plus and let's talk about it so most people as usual were thinking you know a whole new mpc i can't blame him because when akai is getting ready to release a new product i'm also thinking a whole new mpc but let's just see this is the plus it's the same unit has a couple of extra added features to it nothing groundbreaking but i think it will uh help with the workflow all right so today akai released the mpc one plus and many of you all have went to their website and checked out a few other videos about it and yes you can um yeah come on the website and check out all the specs and see what's going on i just wanted to share my thoughts on this and you know because i'm an mpc guy all right, so we have the MPC One Plus. The first thing noticeable is the red, um, the red paint job, which looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Um, and let's go here. What you get? You get a free plug-in voucher when you buy this. Oh, and the other thing that I saw was the price, which is six ninety-nine, which is the same price as the. Uh, this is how much the MPC One cost when it was first released. It was six ninety-nine. So you're like, oh wow, I'm getting a getting an MPC for. 700 bucks and to get into to get into the npc game and that's great you know to get started but 699 and so let's talk about the what makes it a plus or what akai says makes it a plus some people agree most don't but let's go here it has wi-fi the wi-fi allows you to update download sounds or plugins and instruments and it also allows you to link with ableton all right ableton live link then you also have bluetooth on here the ether port is no longer there so you have the the uh the bluetooth as well so the bluetooth connects to other bluetooth devices but mainly and so far only midi devices so for example a bluetooth midi keyboard or midi device or instrument and also like something like an iPad, you can control your iPad instruments with the MPC one now via the Wi-Fi. I mean, via, via the uh, Bluetooth, excuse me. Okay, so what else is new? Well, something that's not new, but it was expected is that we do not have a battery. Okay. And also it has two gigs of RAM. There was not a, a RAM update for this machine. Okay, so you still have your two gigs of RAM. And honestly, I never ran out of space. I'm not a big sampler, and but I am using more of the, um, I'm using more sampled instruments, more key group instruments. So let's see if that comes into play later because we, after you run out of the eight plugins in standalone, standalone mode, the key groups sound pretty good too. The key group instruments, they sound really good. The expansions like the F9, those are key group instruments not plug in so the more ram you have the more you can load up but i'm pretty good at managing my um situation as far as space and things like that so but i would say more importantly what they did do they did up they did upgrade the processor to the quad core the same one that's inside the npc x and the live two instruments uh, the live two in, uh, npcs the x x e etc so you um, you have the capabilities of loading all these plugins. This Flavor Pro here. Uh, what else here? MPC standard. Now what I do like is the the form factor of the MPC one. I, I, I have always liked it because it is a uh, you know it looks like an MPC. You know um, there was a rumor about the tilt screen, the flip screen. I don't know how that was even done, but it's not a tilt screen. The screen is still flat. I thought they would update that 
to make it tip. So maybe for the NPC Live um, Plus, I guess we can call it the Plus if they go with the name uh, formally here. What else do we have? Um, oh no, maybe that is it. I do like the price. There was no change to the converters for those who, you know, want to know. And you can go on this site and watch uh, a couple of uh, cookups with the MPC one. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, MPC three thousand. You can put the vintage mode in there too. They never really before talk too much about the vintage modes. I wonder if all this sound in converter talk has, I wonder if that made them kind of emphasize that. I haven't seen too much about the vintage modes from Akai or in music, but as you can see here, they're showing the MPC 3000 um, as part of the insert effects, which they also have the MPC 60, the SP-1200 and the SP-1200 ring, and it'd be nice if they would get a few more. I'm sure those are coming as well. Uh, of course, you can get all these expansion packs. It comes with a few already, but all oh, the other thing that they did, they increased the onboard storage. Okay, so now it is 16 gigs, but they give you two gigs of content. All right, so you really have, you literally have 14 to play with, 14 gigabytes to play with to save. I don't really use the onboard storage that much. I may do it as a backup, but you can't that the 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 internal drive that's built into the into the MPC one, it does not connect to the computer. So what you have to do is load something from that drive and then save it to one of your um, external devices like a flash drive, hard drive, or the SD card slot that's uh, on the front of the actual MPC one and they did not increase, they did not include a drive bay to uh, install your own internal hard drive. Okay, but the, the SD drives work pretty good. I think I got about three or four, 128 gigabyte SD drive, maybe one or two 64 gig, gigabyte uh, SD drives that uh, work, I swap them between all my new gen MPCs and even throw them in the computer if I want to pull stuff or low stuff too but yeah that's basically it so who is this for i think it's for still for entry level npc users not necessarily entry level beat makers but entry level npc users okay and it's not a slouch you know the workflow is there the feel of the npc is there the touch screen is there the I think all the sounds are there, you know, still has that NPC punch, you know, not like the old vintage machines, but it still has that, you know, what's what's going on today, you know, type of sound. Plus with anything, you can mix it and, and do a lot of stuff with it to make it sound how you want it to sound. Uh, for instance, the demo track that I'm gonna make with the Jura is I got the NPC 3000 emulation running with that just to give it a little, little bit more hit. And um, I did use a couple of the, uh, I used the transient, the air transient plugin to make the drums hit just a little bit harder. And I didn't do too much to it. If I was to get this into a DAW, I would, you know, mix it and do some other stuff. I would track it out instead of exporting. But uh, yeah, that's, I'm not mad at this machine. It's not revolutionary, but it is an improvement up on, up on the first version. And they didn't change the price. So I'm thinking that they would have updated the RAM to a larger amount. They probably would have changed the price. All right. So what's to come? I'm thinking the MPC Live Plus is next. And then eventually we're going to have an MPC X Pro to satisfy uh, all of us sound junkies, you know, with the new converters. And they'll probably make it $3,300, $3,499 or something like that. I will buy it. You know, or you can do the uh, the Black Lion situation, and you know that's a whole other video. We'll talk about that later, but yeah, and I just think it's for it's good for for entry level NPC users. Also, if you have a studio or you have different rooms, you can you can throw one of these in another room, another part of the house. It, and really, if you don't have the live, that's what I would do with this. I would just have it in a whole another 
room or something or because it's it's not battery powered so i think they dropped the ball on that part but maybe on the next version of the one it'll be battery powered maybe the npc one pro i don't know we'll see but yeah those are my thoughts on that and is it worth it i'm going to say yes i've had several people hit me today when this dropped around midnight and all the videos started popping up in my notification and my um associates friends who i work with in music and everything and you know i kind of helped them out with their studios and we you know share information they asked me if they thought it was worth it uh, a couple of fl studio avid users who said you know they, they want to get into the npc world i think this is the the perfect entry now even if you don't get this one you can get a used npc one for you know four or five hundred bucks from what i've been seeing but i mean just go ahead and get the new updated one you know as far as i'm concerned if you don't like the red go ahead and get the go ahead and get the black one maybe they'll put this in different colors but the red looks nice you know a means red in china or something chinese correct me if i'm wrong but we will just not say i'm 100 percent sure on that but yeah uh, those are my thoughts on that and thank you for watching and check out the jira demo and let me know what you think about that All right, so also released along with the MPC One Plus is Jura, which is a basically a um, rolling synthesizer um, clone type instrument. Uh, the Jupiter, it looks like. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and just demo some of the sounds here. And I have a drum beat on track one, but we'll just go ahead and go through some of the presets without me touching anything or, or changing in any other parameters. Let's just see what we get out the box. All right, so what I do, I just open it and show the, the menu and then we just go for it. All right, so here you can see all the, the presets here.
Here's a quick track using the Jira and um, everything but the drums. It's coming from Jira and a little old school vibe uh, with a little modern twist on it. But yeah, check it out. Uh, so that was just a quick example uh, with this type of track. And I don't know. Let me know what you think about the synth. And it, it sounds sounds pretty good to me. I have I have the uh, Jupiter XM, the um, the board from Roland. And, you know, it kind of emulates that, that Jupiter synth as well, the original. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of job you think Akai did. And is it worth the money? Is it worth buying the the MPC One Plus to get it for free? You do get a voucher to get a free uh, instrument. Um, so you know, just let me know what you think. And thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, and see you next time.